Hello YouTube, today I'll be doing a review on Grand Theft Auto Chinatown, it was just released for the iPod recently, so let's open that up. So, when you first open up the game, it'll ask you if you want to create a save file, and then there's two different save files you can play from, so that's nice being able to have two. And as soon as you start up the game, it'll always just open up into your most recent save file. So in this game, you're running around going on missions, and to save you go back to your apartment, which is where I was just at now, and you use a control that's similar to a lot of the ones that iPod games are coming out with now. And instructions will pop up there, and then you've got this mini-map right there. So, you'll get uh, your assignments from the mail, and you just tap on the icon to open up the mail, and you tap on it to see what your assignment is, and you can then you can just hit back to exit out. And once you get an assignment, it'll show up where you what you're supposed to do will show up on your mini map. So right now I'm supposed to go over towards the K. And you'll go into a cutscene that tells you what your mission is. So to skip a cutscene you just tap and hold and a loading thing will circle around your thumb or whatever finger. And then you get your assignment. So you can see there it says get in Kenny's car, so you just get into a car, tap that. Sometimes you'll have to start it yourself. And then it'll give you some instructions up here. And you can tap on the radar, and it'll open up the GPS in your PDA, which is basically the menu. So you just tap around, you can look and tap anywhere to create something, or tap the bottom of the screen to open up the toolbar. And then you look for your missions, which is in this tab here. And then you just tap that, and it'll set that up, and you can hit back. And now the route will appear in the little mini-map. So you tap this to accelerate, and you tap these two to steer. So I don't know why they didn't involve the tilt the accelerometer like a lot of driving games do I think that would have made it, e made it a lot easier to use I sometimes find that it, the turning is sort of annoying with this and it's either too responsive or not responsive enough but it's pretty nice graphics and controls and you always like know where you're supposed to go you're never lost and it's totally filled with action so that's the basic gameplay just use these to turn. This is reverse. And you tap that to get in and out of your car. There's the pause menu. And you've got some options here. But then to get to your PDA, which like I said is basically the menu, you go in here and you've got your email, which is what I showed you earlier. And you've got your contacts, your GPS, and your contacts is just, uh, I'll show you. If you tap on one, it shows you the information for people that you've met. And then for the brief, that just tells you what your current mission is and shows you what you've done and everything so far. And then the stats are just everything that you've done. So you've, it's got how many missions you've passed, how many missions you've failed, how many attempts you've made. And then you've also got a music player. And so it basically, it basically just plays sort of some background music. It would have been nice if they added a feature for you to play your own music, but they don't have that. Then the ammunition is unavailable right now. And the trade info is unavailable. And then the system is stuff like options, and it's the game options instead of in-game settings and stuff. So this has like the system setting, like... This has the theme and everything, 
So this is basically all of your options. So you can choose to have all these toggles and stuff. And so that's basically what you've got in the PDA. So it's a pretty nice app. It's got good graphics and it's got good controls for running. The driving controls, I would say, have a little improvement to be done because it's just a little hard to use occasionally, I've found. But for the most part, it's a good app. It's fun to play. And I really recommend you go download it. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.